Hello, and welcome to this Faros Cloud tutorial. Today we'll be covering using Faros Cloud integrations with Faros Designer. In an open project, in the project properties, make sure Cloud Provider is set to Faros Cloud. If not, click Edit and enter cloud.faroscontrols.com, clicking Save. If Cloud integration is not visible, go to the Project tab and in the Project Features, be sure Cloud integration is either set to Auto or Enabled. Click Choose Site and you'll be asked to log into Cloud. Provide your email address and password as you would to log into the Faros Cloud portal. Once login is successful, choose which site you want to associate with this project file. When selected, site association is stored in the project file. Designer does not save any login details, it only authenticates you as a user of Faros Cloud. This means that when you or anyone else opens a project file in the future, only login details will need to be provided again to interact with your device in Cloud. Navigate to the Network tab. To register a new device to Cloud, simply click this button. The device will then be added to Cloud with the name provided from Designer. This step can be skipped if the device is already associated in the Cloud site. All devices in the Cloud site will be shown in the Network tab, whether they are in this project file or not. Disconnect a device using this button. This will stop the selected device from connecting to Cloud, but the logical device in the Cloud site will remain. Once the device is connected, this cloud icon turns blue. This means we can upload to the device from anywhere using Faros Cloud. In this case, I am on the same local network as the device, so have the option to do a standard upload. But now there is also the option to upload to cloud. Decide if you'd like the file to be transferred to the device after the upload is successful. If this option is disabled, the file will simply be uploaded to cloud. Regardless of if the transfer is done now or later, the file will be available in the cloud interface. That covers the current cloud integration in Faros Designer, which we'll be adding to over time. Please see other videos in this series for more information about the features of Faros Cloud. Or if you have any other questions, then please feel free to contact cloud at faroscontrols.com.